Hello, welcome to the Regional Transportation Plan Online Open House. I'm Gil Cerise, Program Manager in Transportation Planning, and I'm here today to provide an overview of transit in the draft plan. The transit section encompasses a wide variety of transit modes and options. It includes rail, bus, and ferry modes that serve fixed stops on a set schedule, intercity rail and bus connecting to areas outside of our region, as well as mobility on demand services that rely upon technology to book a ride that often connects to other modes. The region's Vision 2050 growth strategy was designed to provide a wide variety of environmental, economic, and community benefits. Achieving the growth pattern we want will depend upon the majority of growth occurring near existing and new transit stations throughout the region. This will also leverage investments being made by Sound Transit and other agencies in developing a high capacity transit system that move large numbers of people reliably and efficiently. The transit section of the draft plan highlights important regional transit network investments, including 36 bus rapid transit routes connecting people from all four counties to the regional ferry and rail network, 10 passenger only ferry routes connecting people across Puget Sound and Lake Washington, and a five-fold increase in the light rail system to one that covers 116 miles in 80 stations serving 16 cities. Creating and maintaining safe and equitable access to this growing transit system is an important theme of the draft plan. Transit expansion combined with growth in transit-oriented development is projected to result in more than 58% of households living near transit service and three quarters of all jobs in the region served by transit by 2050. In addition, access to transit by walking and bicycling combined is expected to increase from 83% to 90% by then. As the region grows, it will be important to continue building the integrated transit network and improving access to transit. Key next steps identified in the draft plan include, considering the needs of transit dependent populations who are largely people of color and people with low incomes as service expansion and access improvements are planned. Continue work among transit agencies and jurisdictions to improve on and achieve safe and equitable access to the growing transit network. Looking ahead beyond existing plans to identify the next set of candidate corridors for high capacity transit, as well as other new transit markets that support planned growth and updating long range transit plans to remain consistent with Vision 2050 as cities and counties update their comprehensive plans. Please check out the link below this video to the transit section of the draft plan where you can find all the details. We'd love to hear your comments and ideas, so please click on the button below this video to leave feedback or through the main website comment form. All comments we receive will be summarized and presented to the PSRC Transportation Policy Board, a group of elected and appointed officials and other community business, labor, and environmental leaders as they refine and make changes to the plan this spring. Thank you for visiting our online open house and please check out the other topics.